是一分不一生，莫厮守，又在告你过死。Everybody, I hope this video finds you well. Today, I just checked my news and there was a, a mass shooting in the United States. And as an American, What else is new? Hmm? The Democrats are going around saying, we must ban guns, we must ban guns, we must ban guns, blah, 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 blah. Republicans are saying, it's a failure of society, it's a failure of society. And there are a bunch of chickens running around squawking, squawk, 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 and the fear will die down. And then another event will occur, and another event will occur. Eventually, the Democrats will get their way, and guns will be banned, and that will be the start of domestic turmoil in the United States. Will that happen? I don't know. Um, these shootings are a, are a symptom. They're not a cause. I'm sure you've heard this before, but they really are. And um, you have to wonder why a nation like China, who's five times larger in population than the United States, doesn't have any of these things. Especially since everybody from grade one up is trained on how to use guns. Maybe that's the issue. They're trained on how to use guns. They know how dangerous guns are from an early age. But I'm not going to get so much into that level of detail. I want to talk a little bit about society. Where did society go wrong in America? Well, it all began, I suppose, when um, 
you had children picking on others, billow, bu bullying others, which caused that person to become an outcast. And this outcast then became mentally ill and then got a hold of a gun. What kind of society creates outcasts? That's what you all should be looking at, right? What kind of society creates outcasts? China, okay, I'm in China. So I can tell you that in China, you're all part of a group. You're part of a collective. You're part of your class. And that class stays together throughout your life. You will make friends. My daughter's friends will stay with her until she's 90 years old. Or probably longer, depending upon the life that she has. But yeah. And those friends are her support group. So China is inclusive, not forced inclusive, you know, not the pretend inclusive. Hey, we accept transgenders and rainbow people, but really inclusive. How can you accept transgender people and allow yourselves to make fun of a kid with a lisp? Hmm? You can't. And that's my point. It's a bunch of bullshit, it's a bunch of talking, but it's a it's no substantive action. And so you have fiascos like you just had. But then there's the political aspects. For those of you who don't know, the Democrats want to ban guns. Um, their reason is because of this and because of that and because of these kinds of things. And um, it goes absolutely against the concept of freedom. So there's something that's coming up here, and that's what I want to talk about right now, that nobody seems to be talking about. And that's the death blow to the idea of freedom. America has been encroaching, the government has been encroaching on American freedoms for some time now. I argue almost from day one when the United States Constitution was first formed. And that vaunted Bill of Rights to protect liberties is a joke. It does not exist. The ATF, the organization, is designed to, to terribly restrict ownership on guns and how you use it and everything. And so it's not a complete tyrannity yet. People still walk around with guns. But aside from that, America is a bonafide tyrannity. It is the most tyrannical government in the history of the world. And uh, full control means you got to disarm people. I disagree with that thought. I think you've already got full control over Americans. You don't, they don't need to be dis disarmed. You just have to threaten them with nuclear retaliata retaliation. Meaning, of course, figuratively. What's one person going to do when, when five SWAT teams, all heavily armed in Kelvar vests, swarm the house? That's a nuclear option. So, guys, uh, but that's, that's America today. You don't need to disarm American people. But when you do... So the totalitarian government is complete. And what are my thoughts on this matter? You probably wonder. Do you really care? I used to have very strong thoughts about disarming Americans. Now, living in China, I'm like... You can disarm Americans or you can't disarm Americans. Americans will still be Americans. And Americans have turned into sheep. They go, bah. It's true. Americans are sheep. They're a bunch of cowards. Fat, obese, lazy cowards. So ignorant that they don't know that they're ignorant. 
The, the root cause is not Americans per se. Uh, the root cause is the government trying to control everybody in every aspect of their life. And uh, as a result, you have a very, very passive uh, population. Population that is right now doing the things that everybody has warned about. Don't ever try to fight China. Don't ever try to fight Russia. And Jesus H. Christ, are you fucking nuts? You're trying to fight both of them at the same time? Are you fucking crazy? But you know, as an expat, I really don't give a damn anymore. I really don't care. I do not care so much anymore. I just see the same thing. It's been the same thing and same thing. It's going to be going on and on and on. And anybody who thinks it's going to happen without opposition is crazy. Um, owning a firearm is symbolic with Americans. It's a symbol of their perceived freedoms. You take that away and that's the last bastion of hope for freedom. I argue that Americans permitted to have guns because the government doesn't really need for, have, for them to be disarmed. They don't need to. But complete control will be obtained once you do disarm them. And everything else is a side issue. And everything else then becomes a side issue. And uh, so those are my opinions on this great shoot 'em up which occurred. And don't misunderstand me. I think it's a terrible thing. I'm horrified that it occurred. I'd hate for my kids to be in a school where they were shot up. This this fucking eighteen year old kid went on over and shut up a bunch bunch of second, third, and fourth year fourth graders, for Christ's sake. It's insanely disgusting. But they all knew he was crazy. Everybody, his closest friends. His school, his classmates, he was even arrested for plotting last year. Last year, he was also arrested. Last year, for trying to have a mass shooting in school. What happened? What happened? The system broke down because the system... <sighs> The system doesn't work. Like all things in America, the system is broken. Anyways, these kinds of things oh, that's a nice rain out this morning. Want to see what it's like five o'clock in the morning in uh, Juhai? Let me show you. Actually, I like them. I do. Rain. You have to appreciate seasons. I used to live, like, as you know, I went through training at Ridgecrest, and that took a while, so I was spending almost a, a couple of years over in Ridgecrest. 
in the Mojave Desert, in the high desert. And uh, as beautiful as it was, if, you, you know, there's no rain. And um, you miss the greenery, you miss the life, you miss the water. And if that's what you're accustomed to, yeah, of course you're going to miss it. Now, older, I appreciate everything. The fall, where the leaves fall and the smell of the trees. The rain as it drips down. Cold snow and being cozy inside a house. All these things I admire. All these things I appreciate. For a while, I used to live in Florida, and that was pretty cool. But you could tell what time of day it was by the rain. Exactly at 6 o'clock, it would be a torrential downpour that would last uh, maybe a half an hour, and then it would go away. <laughs> God. So you have to accept things as they are and appreciate what they are, even though they may call you personal hassles such as scraping ice off your windshield or, or being afraid you're going to fall slide off a ditch into a car as you're fighting a snowstorm trying to get home from work. Just accept things as they are. I imagine that back in the earlier days, pre-car, that you would just hop on your horse or get in your wagon And you just go home, you let the horse drive. You don't worry about things. But anyways, uh, this stuff here about the insanity in the United States, yeah, it's a social problem. It's not a gun problem. But why nothing's being done is because it's a government problem. No, not that the government needs to and then place whatever you believe the government needs to do here. No. It's a government problem in that the government has not adapted to the needs of society. This is a really important concept, and that's the entire purpose of this little video, is the government has to change as society changes. America went from a tiny little colony to this big, massive, multicultural whatever it is right now, and, but the government hasn't changed. I mean, <clears throat> the government has always stayed the same. The rich people just got richer. They got more powerful. The government put on more things that helped the rich and didn't do anything for the people. It just continued that way. But the government did not adapt to the needs of the citizenry. And that's why you have these things called generational turnings, where governments eventually collapse after 70 to 100 years. Because they evolve in one direction while the people's society evolves in another direction. Why doesn't anybody talk about this basic truth? It's obvious to everybody. You just get on any newspaper. You don't have newspapers anymore. You get on any application and you'll see. Government is getting richer. American government is getting more powerful. American government is getting richer. American government is proposing rules that, that they're going to give 50 billion here and 30 billion there and all this. And that's all going to the, the wallets of the super the super duper duper rich. Meanwhile, infrastructure in America is decaying. Men are dying of, of, of um, dying prematurely of all sorts of reasons. Society upset. Yeah, yeah, that's what's going on. There's a disconnect between the ruling class and the people that are ruled. I don't care what government it is, whether it's a democracy or a regime 
or Sisrani, it doesn't matter. It's always the same thing. Government move when the government becomes different than that of the people. Collapse of the society is inevitable. And what you're seeing right now in the United States is an obvious collapse. There will be more of these events, and there will be more screaming and hollering. But nobody's looking at the basics, which is the government moved in one direction, society moved in the other direction, and they did not pace each other. Well, they didn't pace each other at all. When the best system to control this is a smaller government, a smaller government is more responsive to the needs of the people. That's why smaller governments are able to adapt and they last longer than these big, massive empires. If you look at the longest living, longest lasting governments in Europe, they're all tiny, tiny little lands. That's the that's the that's the five cent overview, the two cent overview. That's the two cent overview, guys. That's it. And um, this is just a symptom. And you know, I, I've got my friends. They actually yesterday talking as I always do. Says, why, why don't you just be a gun? I'm like, <laughs> and start World War three inside the United States domestically. That's a suicide move if I ever heard one. But why, why do people want these guns? Well, it's part of American culture. It's also part of your need. If everybody else has a gun and systems are breaking down, you don't want to be caught empty handed. There's going to be more shootings and there's going to be more calls for controls and more hem hawing and nonsense and it's going to reach a feverish pitch and then it's going to snap one way or the other. See this happened before, it's going to happen and um, seriously people, uh, an attempt to outright ban guns is not going to happen because it will call, that will trigger domestic turmoil inside the United States immediately. It's, America is not Australia. They won't walk over and hand over guns. It's not New Zealand where they say, here, here, I got some, here's some guns, there you go. Society is not that cohesive. In America, society is every man's for himself. How can you manage and govern a nation where it's every man for himself. How can you do that? The answer is you have the smallest government possible. And then you let the people have as many freedoms and do whatever the hell they want and you just provide a structure to keep them from killing each other. That's the answer if everybody has freedoms. I'm going to repeat myself here in case you didn't catch it. You need to, if for everybody to have freedom, everybody to have liberties, you have to have a very tiny, tiny government and enable people to do their own thing, whatever it may be, with very little controls. That government works. What happened in the United States? Well, the government got bigger, and each time it got bigger, there was more repression on what you can do. Until now, Americans don't. They talk around, I got freedom, I got democracy, I got freedom, I got democracy. They can't even, they don't even know how many states are in the United States. They don't even know the capital of the United States. And their knowledge of history, I don't even think they know how to spell the word history. They are that dumb. And I hate to say it, but it's really true. And that's what it is right now. So remember, people, 
when you don't have a nation that is responsive to the needs of the citizenry, you will get events like this. They'll get worse and worse over time. Now, China, most Americans, most people in the rest of the world, because China is so maligned, have no idea about what China is. China has undergone these government changes every 10, 15 years. Society changes, government changes. Society changes, government changes. Doesn't happen in the United States. Government goes that way, society goes that way, and that's it. But uh, you might say, well, don't you care? Don't you care? Don't you care about these people? I care deeply. I tear, care deeply, but I'm not going to be running around carrying on and on and on about the structural deficiencies of the United States. This is one of many. You think it's bad now, you just wait till a couple bridges start collapsing, one every month. And the federal government doesn't have any money because it's given them all to the arms manufacturers. At the same time when food is getting expensive and short of supply. That's it. So, um, the reason why this doesn't happen in China is firstly, it's because uh, guns are kept in uh, the military uh, barracks and armories. And um, they're used and given to the people under supervision to obtain a purpose. Number two, the, uh, the right to own a gun in the United States has nothing to do with hunting deer. That's one of those nonsensical things that the Democrats in the United States always talk about. You can't hunt a white, you can't take care with a fully automatic gun. You can't get automatic guns in the United States and you don't hunt deer with them. The reason everybody's damn armed is because they need to protect against the crazies in the United States because the government has failed corralling the crazy people. If everybody can do their own thing, then how can you tell? If everybody can do your own thing, how can you tell between a sane person and a crazy person? You can't. Everybody can do their own thing. It's a structural deficiency of American democracy, whatever the fuck that is. Actually, that's just a bullshit statement. The fact is, America is a military empire. A tyrannical military empire. Largest one in history. That's it. And so, why isn't it happening in China? A totally different culture, totally different society, totally different government. That's why. What's the solution in America? Change the government. You change the government. This isn't a band-aid. You can't say, well, this is a cut. America's like this very terribly diseased person with cancer and, and tumors and cuts. And smashes. You just don't put a couple of bandages here. You need to go to an operating room, do some amputations. The United States uh, needs to completely revamp its government. And I argue that it's way too big. It needs to be brought down to size, at the bare minimum to the size of the states. Forget it, fuck the, the federal government, just go to the states. You can have states banding together. You could have some of the smaller states band together, like Connecticut and Massachusetts, Rhode Island can band together and become a state or a new country. Some, some states should be broken up into smaller nations. Uh, California could probably be broken into three. Texas could probably stand alone. See what I'm saying? Make it small enough so that they can be managed. Let every state 
make their own laws. And of course, initially, they'll probably base them on the, fa the failed models that the federal government has used. But, you know, I have a lot of faith that American people can adapt if given the chance and the power to do so. I have a lot of faith in the American people, provided the government moves out of the way. And those are my thoughts concerning these crazed shooter and people in the future there's not too much you can do about this stuff if you're living in the United States the best thing you can do is be part of your community participate help other people be aware and if you see other people that seem to have problems or or something's matter with them. Befriend them. Show them some guidance. Show them that they're not alone. Help them. Give them reasons to understand things. And if they're too recalcitrant, if their images, their, their minds are too... Hmm, messed up. Get professional help. They're not your problem. You need experts to deal with it. And do your best to make sure that the experts are able to do their magic and have the resources to make it happen. As always, your participation in society will contribute to a rapid decrease in these kinds of events. When everybody cares about everybody else, you can easily find the malcontents and the misfits. Find out what their problems are and assist them in overcoming them very, very crucially and critically important. Be the Rufus people. The world needs you more than ever. And you know what? I believe in you.
来抖音极速版看视频领现金。